Hi everyone! I have it finally! My Nintendo 64 came yesterday and uh, um, Nikki is here with me uh, because ever since I plugged this thing ever since I plugged this thing in um, Nikki has uh, been very curious about it so yeah uh, and if you're wondering why I'm wearing this man hoodie it's because it's freezing next to this window but anyway um, I'm really excited about having this. I feel great. I only got to play for a little while yesterday because somebody was sort of in my way. But um, I'm really, really happy and I thought I would demonstrate a little bit how I play. This isn't a truly authentic experience because when I played this as a kid, I played in mostly in the living room at my mom's house on a slightly larger CRT. And then sometimes I'd play in my bedroom on a super tiny CRT. And then when I moved, uh, I kept that smaller CRT with me. Yeah, I know you're tired. So, um, I've logged a lot of hours in this game, and this is a brand new uh, save file. I just started, as you'll soon see, or hear, I guess, from the browser. And so this is how I, as a blind kid, sort of, almost, played uh, one of my favorite video games of all time, in a video game that I feel like, uh, I feel like has sort of lasted. I mean, it's 20 years later and I'm still playing it, so. I'm just gonna kinda do like a speed round of these first few levels. Um, there's no point in me telling you what I'm doing or where I am, because by now I think most people on this earth have played or seen this level before, so. I'm just gonna go beat the boss. This is the first star level. If I remember correctly, I have to go to the top of the mountain and fight the guy. Go away. I don't have cannons yet, so I can't uh, blast my way up there. So I have to walk. Or run, I guess. And like I said, as a kid, I, I spent a lot of time playing this game. I think I have not gotten all 120 stars but I have beaten all three Bowsers. Not in this game, of course. This one I got from uh, a video game store in Lahti that I can't remember the name of right now, but I will put it in the comments because um, they were really kind. They got this to me super fast um, and everything worked really well. It even came with the booklet, which I thought was really cool. All right, so now I have to fight this guy. I'm going to throw him off of the top of this. Just got to lure him a bit over here. <coughs> Pick him up. Eventually you can outrun him, but uh... You bastard. This is not my shiniest or brightest moment in uh, gaming, but I haven't played this specific boss battle in maybe six years? Six and a half years, so uh, yeah, it's, it's been a while. <coughs> so I'm just gonna throw him real quick. Yeah. And he's gonna disappear. He's gonna disappear and turn into a star. Yes. So, uh, I hate when the camera does that. That's probably my least favorite thing about this game is sometimes the camera just goes far back and I can't do anything about it no matter how much I use the camera buttons. Um, but I would say the hardest part now on this screen is because it's rectangular and not the square I'm used to. Is sort of wrenching my neck and trying to see how many stars I have. And of course now it's not an issue because I only have one. But uh, I'm going to go back in there and uh, I think this is the next one where you do the toad racer, right? Yes. Not, not toad, Koopa. Yeah. So as I was saying, um, 
being able to see how many coins you have is kind of difficult, and the font in this game is also kind of hard for that in general. Um, but the thing that I really appreciate about these old games, and I think why I'm, I don't want to say good at them, because that's just cocky, but like why I do all right at them is because, um, you know, the graphics are bad. <laughs> it's, it's very cartoony. And when things start to get too uncanny valley and too cine cinematic, it's uh, it's just hard to see. It becomes like playing in real life, and I'm blind in real life, so of course I would be blind in a lifelike uh, graphical lifelike graphical uh, world. So it's you know it's difficult, but at least I have this now, and. What I'm hoping is that um, what I'm hoping is that with the Nintendo Switch, for example, they release some of the Pokemon games, um, or at least Sun and or Moon, and um, I'll be able to see that because that looked like I could see it, and it looks like a lot of 3DS games have similar graphics, um, and I just haven't been able to tell because I can't, uh, you know, I can't see on a screen that small. Even the XL seemed to, to me to be a bit too small. And with this one, I remember, I'm not supposed to go too far ahead of the thing, because otherwise it won't count my win there. So I did that in 1 minute and 6.6 .6 seconds. So now I wait. But, um, yeah, I, I'm hoping that that happens, and I'm always curious to try ga like new games um, for the newer consoles and stuff, but, you know, my, my options at this point, and this of course is a kid's game, of course, Wait, but, um, you know, it would be nice if they made something that wasn't necessarily just a kitty kitty game, uh, for PlayStation or for PC that would, um, that, was a thing. that would, uh, have bad graphics. I don't understand why, oh, I do understand, I mean, people want good graphics, but, I don't understand why it seems like everything has to be 100% perfect and s cinematic and beautiful and artistic and, you know, why can't things just be... Why can't things just be like this? Well, yeah. I'm gonna do the cannons. This one. I'm just kind of ranting, I know, but... Hey. Oh, yeah. So now I'm opening the cannon. I don't read the text. I think, oh, I didn't mean to do that. It's really hard to read this, um, but I've read it before, so I don't need to read it now. It doesn't really matter. He's just telling me how to how to shoot myself into the air. So, funny because yesterday I did this Hi, twice. Hello? Yesterday I did this <coughs> twice. And uh, not for this star, but for the 100 coin star. And the other save file I have. And both times I was like, alright, I'm doing really well. And then this time I just failed miserably. other thing or go to other things and do other things and blah blah blah. And the eight red coins. Let's see if I remember how to do this. It's been a while. Uh, I didn't want to hey, Who are you talking? Who are you talking on the phone with on Mickey? I 
Who are you talking to? Are you talking to Mario? level I would also try to get the 100 coin star at the same time but because I don't yet have the uh, wing cap it's a bit uh, it's a bit of a pain I feel like it's darker playing on this for some reason like I sort of miss the evenness of a CRT brightness because from this angle everything is very dark I can't do this yet because I don't have the hat. What, sweetie? Ta -da! Let's go to mommy's other favorite level. At least on Nikki's having fun. This is always one of my favorite levels, I know. It's one of the easiest, but I don't know for some reason I always want. Yeah, 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 do things. of this like there's a lot of sh like brightness and stuff it's a bit hard harder to see here I don't need that blue corner 
but I'll take it apparently. Go <laughs> go go! <laughs> so funny. What's so <laughs> Go on, crush me. Oh no. to a slightly harder level and see how we fare there. So this one has 37 stars. I think when this came it had 34. I got a couple in yesterday just because I was so excited to play it. But I was playing with a baby on my lap so that made things a bit, um, a bit more complicated than they need to be. But let's see here. Nikki, I would like to sing to you. Again, kid, you're going to watch this video when you're older and you're going to be like, oh my god. So I always liked this uh, stage as a kid. Okay. I remember this, this one. This was not one that I'm particularly good at. But we can try it. We got so. Uh. Where do you have. Oh, there. That roof is baby. Tito's. Tito's. Bones. So, now I have to try to avoid these things which are jerks, and like to sprout up and burn, burn you. So, now I'm here. So usually, in this level, I just kind of throw myself over in the corner, and that usually works. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. I think you're supposed to long jump, but I usually just jump into the lava. Make it go. Here we go. So I know this is probably a super long video now, so if you're sticking with me, thanks. Um, I'm just really happy to finally have this again. I know it sounds silly and stupid, but this was a really big part of my life, and it was actually something I was good at. And it is kind of sad, I guess, if the only thing I was ever good at was a 64-bit video game. But, um, or 64-bit 64 64-bit video games in general. But, uh, yeah, it's how I spent a lot of time as a kid, and it made me really happy. Happy, happy! Yes, I'm Nikki. Happy, happy! Happy, happy! And it feels good to have it back. And it feels good to know that I'm still good. And this is terrible! Holy crap, this shadow is awful. I have to move this, which means you probably can't see anything now. But the reflection on this monitor... I really miss having a CRT television! Yeah, 
regular occurrence when I try to complete this mission. Okay, well, I'm gonna just kill myself off here actually now. So, yeah, that is how a blind person plays Super Mario 64 on a stupid, stupid, stupid HD television. Um, I really... I can't speak English. I would really like to have more games, um, but they are very, very expensive in Finland. So uh, if anyone wants to drop me uh, a couple euros or bucks or something to put towards getting more games, um, that would be really cool. I'll make a video as soon as I have them. I plan on making more videos here with Mario uh, as the days go on, uh, hopefully when a certain baby it's is with her grandmother. Um, and uh, yeah, I just want to say thanks to everyone who has uh, been really patient in waiting for the next uh, retro gaming video. Oh no, baby. You alright? Everyone who's been patient in waiting for the next retro gaming video since it has been six years since I made one. Um, and hopefully you like this. Hopefully I wasn't too in the zone or saying too much nonsense. And uh, yeah, thanks. And Please, please stick around and subscribe, and any suggestions or questions you might have, leave them in the comments. Thanks.